it's important for my work to exist as fragments of moments of somebody's life. Once they're gone, nothing is there to showcase where their labor was. A gardener in front of a hedge, nothing is going to express to someone who did the trimming. All that's left is the beautiful hedge, and I want the person behind the beautiful hedge to be recognized and acknowledged and represented in the paintings. I paint about domestic labor in and around the Los Angeles uh, neighborhoods, such as Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. It's my interest to showcase the other side of things, the, the more real side that I see, which is the people maintaining those mansions, cleaning, gardening, nannying, housekeeping. I was born and raised in San Bernardino, California to Mexican immigrants. I'm the first generation child born here. There's definitely a pressure you feel as a child of immigrants. They've risked a lot to come to the country. They've given up on uh, their own uh, family members sometimes. It was very clear to me from a young age that school was the focus and my parents wouldn't let me mess around. I'm the head custodian here at Thompson Elementary School. I've been here for 12 years. You know, sometimes because we're Hispanics, I feel we don't count or they ignore us like on everything we do. He's trying to show people don't really see the hard work we do. I use these as reference. A picture like this that I've taken inside of an actual living room setting of a housekeeper wouldn't necessarily go right into the magazine as is, but I would use her body language to inform me where I would place the figure or how I would place the figure in the setting. All I can reduce it to is that image of a figure because I think in its simplicity there is the complexity. I'm reflecting back the stuff that they're already seeing in a way that stays true to how they've seen it but adds a different layer. I'm interested in connecting to people that remind me of my family. When I see pictures like this, yeah. like it makes me want to sometimes paint you into these images. Like you'd be able to take a portrait of yourself, right? Or oh, have a yeah. picture of oh, you yeah. in there. It was like around three in the morning, still dark, and I, those were the lights in the receiving area. It's stressful and it's, it's hard work, and uh, it's worth it because I look at my kids now, you know, how far they've gone, and it's just uh, the price, you know, for uh, working so hard. It's more for me on making sure people recognize them because once they're not around, I'll be here and I'll be showing somebody a painting and I will hope that that painting showcases that their labor meant something to me and it means something to the society. There's a common saying, we're all in pursuit of the American dream. I'm more in the pursuit still. I still feel that I haven't achieved anything. I don't think I've ever really felt a full sense of achievement because I still see my dad's tired, wrinkled, labored hands. I still see my mom coming home from work, tired, taking a little nap. And I still understand that my parents are going to work until they can't anymore. And that's not something I can easily accept. Uh, so whether I've succeeded, whether I've achieved a dream, I think again, the horizon line is still quite off in the distance and it will always be. I'm just doing the best I can on the road that I'm on.